guys, I'm Yash and today I'm going to teach you like how to make this wonderful animation and the animation that you previously saw was just a variant of this animation so if you can learn this animation you can make your own variants. I made this animation in Blender 2.79 if you want you can make in other versions as well but I prefer this. So now let's start it. So here we are having a new Blender interface. Just delete this cube. Yeah, we are going to delete it and have the sphere here. Now we had to change the view to art. So now it's good. Now press 1 to have this image, you know, like this ZX, ZX, ZX axis. I meant, oh yeah, ZX axis. So you're here and we want it in edit mode. And here it goes for wireframe. So now press A for deselecting everything and press B for selecting what's actually important for us. So we are gonna select the first four, but we're gonna select the fifth row as well. Uh, if you wanna like do that. So I'm gonna show you like how. So like this, we're gonna do it. And so you can see one, two, three, four, five. Five had been selected. And we're gonna delete it by pressing this X and what is this? So it's gone. So we got a cup shape here. Now again select the bottom two rows like this one, but you have to select the third one to just get those selected. And here I got. So this time we are not gonna delete it, but just press the scale and press Z because we had to do something on Z axis. And yeah. So that's it we got that shape of a good cup and now this is solid so now let's add some modifiers to it huh so we are gonna solidify it in the first place I prefer to have a 0 0.07 solidity it the next comes for the subdivision surface view should be two and it should be smooth now we got our perfect cup you know like this is perfect this is actually perfect this cup is all right now so now I can press one to get that axis mode kind of on now create a plane just a bit low and uh, now scale it uh, for scaling you can press s as well so you can see like we can press S for scaling. So I'm gonna use S and here we go. Like, okay, so we got that. This is gonna be our floor or table or whatever. And now we're gonna like another plane for that napkin. Okay. So we got it. And now for we have to rotate it a bit. So for rotation we can use R. So I'm gonna use R completely rotated now press N I'm saying N so here you will get like all the details about this plane so in rotation for x-axis you have to have 90 degrees and for y-axis you have to get 45 degrees and now this is perfect and just move it up let me move it up here we got that and now we can press 3 like we got that ZX by pressing 1 and now we got ZY by pressing 3 now we have to rotate a bit I'm again gonna press R and yeah so here we are so it's okay we are ready with this now we have to sub uh, like subdivide this so we have to go to uh, edit mode and now here choose subdivide so number of cuts is going to be 50 so we got 50 cuts and now object mode now we have to add modifiers to this as well cloth obviously then we need to solidify it it's 0 0.01 it's okay now subdivision surface so it's going to be view as 2 and this smooth it now apply all the things
now let's color all the stuff and I will now you have to use the cycle render option for more realistic things like for more realistic animations and also now let's just color this we prefer to color it blue yeah, that's actually kind of cool. it's okay so now I want to see it so here is viewpoint color and you can here as well just do what color you wanted and you can see it from here otherwise you have to just go to that render thing again and again to see that stuff now let's come to this uh, cup and you have to color this as well for cup I'm going to choose this glass PSDF so this glass PSDF actually gives a glassy texture and instead of white I will choose a bit red that's good okay so it was actually I think it was for the floor so just got it wrong so just change it to the diffuse and it's okay so now we have to go to the glass with this here's this I mean glass or ball what you say and this is all right now we have to just go for glass based here. Now this is looking good. Here, this point, I will prefer to have this a bit brighter. You can see a lot black. I will have bright. So now let's see the rendered thing, like how it looks like. Well, it actually looks good. It actually looks good now. So like this floor looks uh, pretty much really dull, you know. Like let's do something with it. Add a brick texture. I think I will just see it through the rendered one. And now this is actually looking beautiful, buddy. This is actually looking beautiful. This one should be white. Good, great. No, I think this should be quite. This should be white. Yeah, this should be white. Now it looks good. Okay. Body can just now it looks pretty much good. So now we're gonna go for the physics. Now, just collision and uh, we're gonna select this thing with collision itself. Now comes the napkin. So from napkin you have to do something else. So you have to press cloth. And then you have cloth presets, so you can have cotton or whatever you want, but I prefer silk. So here is the silk, and steps you have to write it as 10. Then go a bit down, and cloth collision, and this is self collision, you have to just mark this one. We are ready. We are ready with the bottle. And you can see this faded blue line here, which shows that it is actually gonna work. So now well, let's just start it, and it's actually just gonna come down. And okay, guys. Uh, so now after falling down, it's suddenly gonna look like this. Yeah, uh, it actually looks cool now. So the last thing we have to do is just set the camera. And for setting the camera, you have to press zero in the numpad, and just do it. So. I'm gonna set it and like you can press N or you can just press this plus to get this details about the camera rotation like here or there the zero and the z-axis rotations locations and let's set it here pretty much here and it actually looks good here so now let's just uh, now we have to just render it so rendering you can have animation or you can have image so for now I'm gonna do this for image we'll select the place in your PC and then just do it so let's do it and uh, that's it so now let's do it so here we will have our image 
it's again actually looking really beautiful okay it's still not there it's actually coming now it's actually rendering takes a lot of time if you do this for animation because this is cycle render if you do this for blender render so then it's actually gonna take less time but it's gonna be really realistic yeah it's really realistic so that's why it takes a lot of time so you can choose whatever you want and you can have like various kinds of animations yeah like the best thing about this animation is that I liked was it covers most of the basics uh, in blender so you can have your own variations you can change the like color of the glass color of the napkin you can have another texture you can have image and uh, that's what about this video is if you like this video so then just hit that thumbs up and subscribe my channel for more blender tutorials thanks guys